Hey guys, it's Timmy from Microvillum. In this video, we're going to go ahead and show you how to make some of the standard cabinet modifications to this three draw base here. So to start, I'm just going to change our view from realistic to x-ray, just so we can see within the cabinet a little bit easier. What I'm going to do now is just left click on here and go to our product prompts and then left click on our cabinet we want to modify. This is going to bring up our product prompt screen. Here on our draw variables, you can see I've got different um, options here for inner draw locations. So if I click um, add a bottom inner draw, what you'll notice down here is I've got bottom inner draw distance from the top of the bottom drawer and the bottom inner draw height. So we can adjust all of those very quickly and easily. And what I'm going to do here is add in a middle inner draw very quick. So what you'll notice now is straight away we've got those extra drawers showing up in here. Um, it's automatically adjusting the height of these bottom drawers if it needs to, to fit it in. So if we come back to our product prompts, we're just going to look at a few more of these modifications in here. And I'm probably, what I'm going to do next is just turn off these inner drawers again. What we can do on our main tab here, we've got a shadow line finger pull. Now this can be turned on per cabinet or for the overall job through the global variables. If we turn on our shadow line finger pull here, I'm able to select my extrusion type here. So I've got a big large range of sort of extrusions, very quick and easy for us to modify these and add more in if we need to. Get our um, shadow line heights here, finger pull gaps, overhangs, depths, etc. So if I go ahead and hit OK. Okay, all of that machining is now applied. You'll notice in here we've even moved that top rail back. We've got all these notches, we've got all of our gaps. Sort of everything that you need. What we're going to do now is come into um, our product prompts again. If I right click anywhere in the screen, I can bring up my draw front calculator. So it's very quick and easy for me to adjust the draw front height. So we can say that top one is going to be 150 or 160. And these two are going to equal the remaining difference. So if I just hit calculate, it's going to work out that difference here for us. So straight away we're adjusting all the different draw heights that are fitting within there. Got bigger ones down here and we've reduced that draw front gap. All these ends etc are going to be routed. They're all programmed and ready to go. What we're going to have a look at now guys is just coming in and just doing some pipe cutouts in these drawers here. So to be able to select the drawer I need to come down to my visual styles and just put this into a wireframe view. So clicking on my sub assembly prompts and let's save this top drawer here. It's going to bring up the options for this top drawer. So you'll notice here I've got my runner heights, so different runner heights here, different runner depths. Click on the button here. I can come over to my rear cutout. I can turn this on and over here on my cutout options I can adjust my width and my depth of that cutout there. Also down here I have the option to choose if I want to save that just to that sub-assembly I've selected to the product or to the whole project. So what you'll notice now is as it's redrawing we're going to have those cutouts within that drawer. And we can just put that back into an x-ray view here and move and pan around and we can see that we've cut that whole drawer around that waste pipe. What I've done here is I've pre-optimized this earlier and you can see over here I've got all of my Legra box rebates, I've got my cutouts, I've got all my back cutouts etc over here and now over here I've got all my end cutouts for my shadow line thinkable. Thank you for watching.